So why is pre-processing important? Well, let's suppose your brain, or yourself, trying to categorize whether uh, something is an apple or a cucumber. So you can see on the screen that these comes in lots of shapes and sizes, and all the features are very different. And it's kind of hard to pick out which one's an apple or which one's a cucumber. Wouldn't it be useful if the features that make up the apples and the cucumbers all had the same overall mean and standard deviation, it'd be a lot easier to classify these, wouldn't it? And that's exactly what we're going to do. Through mathematical transformations, it will allow our classifier to categorize apples from cucumbers with a much higher accuracy. So now that we've checked our demographics for our two groups in the previous video, we can move on to pre-processing. So the major caveat with this method is that we cannot have any empty cells or any empty observations. So I'm just going to check to make sure if there's any NAs in our HCP data set. And it looks like there is. Uh, there's one. So we can go ahead and just omit that one observation. The unfortunate part about that is we'll lose the entire participant instead of just that one area. Um, and so then we can go ahead and see that there are no NAs anymore but we did lose one person. So I want to go ahead and save the sex variable into this y variable, and we'll use that later. So the preprocess function is from the caret package. It's the first time we're going to be using the caret package. And so what it does is it's going to preprocess our model. And so the reason I have it split up into two times, so center is going to demean our um, every feature in the model, and scale is going to divide by the standard deviation of every feature. And so supposedly you're supposed to be able to combine them into one line, but in fact when I did that, uh, it didn't do both of them, it only did the first one. So if I had center first, it'd only demean and not scale the data. And so I found out if you split it up into two lines and had, repeat the command twice, it then does what it's supposed to do. So the code to pre-process your data is a little wonky. First you start out with the pre-process command, and so I'm going to through the length of HCP, so all the features that will predict sex, and so I'm not including sex in this. And uh, I'm going to demean them and apply that, make a new data frame, which is called preprocess range model. And then I'm going to take that preprocess range model and use the predict function to transform my old HCP data frame into a new HCP data frame. And so if you check, if you just do mean HCP um, and one of the features, the mean of the, that feature will be zero. And I want to do the same thing for scaling, aka dividing by the standard deviation of each feature. And again, why I'm doing this twice is because even though it says in the uh, help, func help document that you can just combine them into one line, uh, it doesn't do exactly as it says, so you must split them up in order to get both functions applied to your data set. So if you look at the HCP data frame right now, you'll notice that there is no sex variable in there. And so to put it back in there, that's why I stored it in the y variable earlier, I'm just going to do HCP dollar sign sex equal to y, and that'll put all those variables back in. And I right now it's at the back of the data frame, and I want it at the front, because that's how I set up my code is I assume that the, uh, the value that we're going to be predicting is going to be at the front of the data frame.